Rebels. Hi, I really loved your first video of the Fangirl Diaries. Super excited, and I feel like I'm gonna have to write love letters because of all your tweeting and such about it as well. So thanks for that. In honor of getting my new camera lens, yay! Even though it's at home, so I can't play with it until next weekend, which sucks. Um, anyway, I thought I would introduce to you and whatever internet dwellers watching this three of my favorite photographers. I've been trying to do this video for like the last hour, but I can't quite figure out how to tell you how much these photographers work means to me because I just can't find the words to say it. So I thought I would just show you and tell you about each of them, some, you know, little facts and all that. I guess you could say they all have a similar simplistic and minimalistic style, but they definitely all have their different strengths. First up is Richard Avedon. Avedon was best known for his portrait and fashion photography, even though he did do um, several different series out of that realm as well, into politics and uh, civil rights movement and everything. The overall look and feel of his images paired with the awesome people that he got to photograph, I think really is what does it for me most. I put a link in the description box so you can look at all of his beautiful images and more about him. Next up we have Vivian Meyer. Uh, the cool thing about Vivian is that she wasn't actually a professional photographer. Um, she just did this all for fun. She was a nanny. She wanted to travel, and she did, and she took pictures while she did it. Vivian was very secretive about her work and never showed anyone. So it wasn't until a man named John Malouf purchased one of her abandoned storage containers with her negatives that we get to see any of this. I actually went to see her exhibit in Chicago a couple years ago, and they're even more beautiful in person. So if you have a love for street photography like I do, definitely check Vivian out. I put a link in the description box. And to end this video, we have Megan McIsaac. Megan's actually a Michigan girl like myself, and I found her through friends of friends of friends on MySpace years ago, and it was actually cool. So, um, I've been following her, her work for many years. She moved to Portland after high school and has been traveling around ever since. Um, she specializes in portraits and self-portraits. Um, she just has a really cool mood about her photos that I find compelling, obviously, since I've followed her for this long. Even though Megan's in her early 20s still, she works with all film, mostly medium format. And I think there's just something really romantic about it that I enjoy. As always, if you want to see more, I've put links in the description box. One of my... nope, not one. Not one! <laughs> it's like the eighth time I've done just the introduction for this video.